Today, we're peering into the crystal ball to uncover the future of Columbia real estate market in 2024. You're in the right place if you're considering buying or selling or just curious about the trends. By the end of this video, you'll see what to expect in the Columbia real estate market from 2024 onwards. The housing market has seen a lot of ups and downs in the past year, which can feel overwhelming. However, the situation is still in favor of the sellers. This means that home prices will likely continue rising as the demand exceeds the available supply. In Colombia, the median home price has increased by 2% and ended at just over $270,000 with a 2.2 month supply of homes. This indicates it's still a seller's market, but moving towards a more balanced one. The days on the market have ended at 43 days, which is a little slower than before, but it's still pretty steady. Mike Simonson, the brain behind Alto's research, put it nicely when he said, we're going into 2024 with slight home price gains, somewhat easing inventory constraints and slightly increasing transaction volume, all in all. Things are looking up for the U.S. housing market in 2024. And suppose you're curious about the future. In that case, the Home Price Expectation Survey from Fannie Mae, which gathers insights from many intelligent folks in the field, predicts steady but modest price increases through 2028. So while you might be seeing the crazy jumps we did in recent years, the good news is that prices are expected to keep rising with 20. 24 at about a 2.6% increase. This doesn't mean that home prices will suddenly decrease, but they will continue to rise more at a normal pace. Prices may appreciate at a lower rate than in recent years, but the vital thing to note is that prices will increase across the country for years to come. Last year saw the lowest number of homes sold in a decade, which begs the question of whether we will see more housing inventory this year or another slower year. Although mortgage rates remain volatile, their recent trend combined with expert opinions suggests that they could continue to trend downward in 2024. This would improve affordability for buyers and make it easier for sellers to move since they won't feel as locked into their current low mortgage rate. According to Lisa Sturvent, chief economist at Bright MLS, supply will loosen in 2024. Even homeowners who are locked in to low rates will increasingly find themselves moving and listing their homes due to changing family and financial circumstances, particularly as rates move closer to the 6% or even the 5% rate. While the market was thrown a lot of curveballs last year, such as high mortgage rates impacted by various factors, we may see homes sold in the Columbia Midlands as we start seeing inflation cool and mortgage rates come back down. The question then becomes, what's going to impact this projection? It all goes back to mortgage rates. Rising home prices and mortgage rates strained inventories nationwide last year. In headlines and articles such as rate lock and affordability crisis were commonly used to explain why people put their buying or selling plans on hold. Although we've been seeing headlines and inventory is up, Data shows that there's still significantly fewer homes for sale than there would typically be in what we would consider a normal market. However, this has become very hyper-local. While some states are seeing inventory declines, many states are seeing a steady month-over-month -month growth. Here in South Carolina, we've been seeing month-over-month -month growth. The days of tight housing supply may not be entirely behind us. Still, the content is extra important, and we can expect to see more activity as mortgage rates continue their downward trend. On top of that, the chance of the Fed rate cut in March has disappeared, eroding some of the optimism for lower rates coming sooner. This range that bonds are stuck in will be broken by high impact news items. Although no one can say for sure what will happen with mortgage rates this year, there are some historical trends that we can consider. One of the long-standing relationships between mortgage rates and inflation suggests that when inflation is high, mortgage rates tend to follow suit. And over the past year, inflation was up, so mortgage rates were also up high. However, inflation is easing now, and the Federal Reserve has paused its federal funds rate hikes, which many experts believe will lead to a continued downward trend in mortgage rates. Although some ongoing variation is expected, we anticipate that we'll continue to see a downward trend this year, albeit with some volatility. The availability of housing inventory can have a significant impact on affordability. 
in the real estate market. When there is a shortage of available properties, demand can drive prices up making it more difficult for buyers to find affordable options. On the other hand, when there's an oversupply of inventory, prices may drop, making it easier for buyers to find affordable properties. If interest rates drop, it could increase affordability across the board and lead to an influx of new home buyers entering the market. However, this increased demand could outpace supply and continue to place upward pressure on home prices. Key economic indicators like the upcoming inflation reports could impact mortgage rates and buyer sentiment, which could have an impact on the real estate market in the coming years. For buyers, a shortage of inventory can be particularly challenging as it can lead to bidding wars and higher prices. If interest rates drop significantly, this very well could be the result here in Colombia. In this situation, it's essential to work with a knowledgeable real estate professional who can help you identify potential properties quickly and make strong offers that stand out from the competition. For sellers, a shortage of inventory can be beneficial as it can lead to higher prices and more favorable selling conditions. However, it's important to price the property appropriately to attract potential buyers while still ensuring a fair return on investment. Overall, the impact of housing inventory on affordability can vary depending on the market conditions and other factors. However, by staying informed, being proactive, and working with trusted professionals, buyers and sellers can navigate these complexities and achieve their respective goals in the real estate market. I receive calls all the time from people who are in the process of relocating, especially in the Columbia, Lexington, Irmo, and Lake Murray areas. If you are considering buying a home in or around the Columbia Midlands or want to learn about the area, please feel free to contact me using the information provided in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, I'm confident that you will also enjoy the next one, which is already on screen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.